in this battle we're taking on this guy i don't feel like pronouncing that so anyways um he actually has a pretty respectable rank here in this uh in this game so you'd assume he'd be a player of um high quality but we're gonna find out soon if that's the case or not so anyways um I feel like leading with the Skeledirge here because I saw the Galvantula and I'd like to assume that's what he's probably going to go into at the start. And, you know, we have Manda Buzz to defog off all his efforts, so we should be totally fine. And yes, as expected, he's going to go into the Galvantula. Um, typically, when you're playing Pokemon Brick Bronze and you see somebody with an Entry Hazard Pokemon, it's really fair to assume that that's what they're going to go into first turn. So we're going to go for the Torchonk here. Oh, he actually goes for the Paralysis. Okay, that's tough. Luckily, we do go through that, though. And that's going to be permanent damage as well. Nice. I'm going to go for round two, although the paralysis will kind of suck. Especially since we won't be able to outspeed any more past this. But it's alright. And that's definitely a smart way to start with the paralysis. Because there's a good chance you can get paralyzed. And you can actually get more out of the Galvantula that way. But we do pick up the KO there. That's definitely a problem for Sharpedo. But, you know, now he's gone. So we should be good. Now the Xerneas does come out, and this is definitely going to be a problem. Although I think Skeletor actually has a great matchup here, since I'm not affected by his um his Geomancy. He might not know that because I actually have unaware. So I I was looking at my team, I was like, I know I had a check for Xerneas, and I realized this is a check. So he actually basically gave me that free opportunity, and this is going to hit like a truck. Yep, nice. I like what I see. We're going to go for round two actually. Oh, he's going to go for the Moonblast, and that's not going to do anything because it's, it's you know, it's it's resisted. Yeah, he's going to take... Dang, this thing is a tank. It's really not... I mean, it is. It is strong and all. It's really tanky, but the unaware ability really just goes a distance, especially against the Pokemon like Xerneas. So this, for sure, is a great Xerneas answer. And now we're actually going to be dangerous. So he goes into your Yawaltal. What are you doing? I mean, maybe he has a physical attack here. I actually don't know. I mean, this is... I guess this is fine. I would have just gone to Landorus and picked up my KO. So really, I'm just going to get as much value out of Skeledirge as I can right here. This should not one shot. Yeah, yeah. And this is going to hit like a truck. And almost a one shot too. Unfortunately, just shy of that. But you know, now, I mean, I think Sharpedo is going to come in and really just clean up. I don't remember what else he had in his team. But yeah, I mean, like, they should all be weak to Sharpedo now. So we do unfortunately use the uh, Skeledirge there or whatever, but it's fine because I'm going to get the... Oh shoot, he does actually have a counter to Sharpedo. It's alright though. Um, I want to protect first turn. I forgot about the sticky web being up. I should have got rid of it earlier to be honest, but now it's alright. Um, I want to just Ice Fang. Hopefully we outspeed. We might not if this is PvP. It's not PvP fully, so... We do get the outspeed here, and now we're going to be at the equivalent of plus one. So I can go ahead and Mega Evolve, and we should be in a good situation. And now his Landers is going to be a bit scary coming in as well. Um, Is this really something I want to stay into? I could actually crunch and just take the Gambit, or I mean the Gamble. Although, I mean, how am I going to deal with the Landers after that? I do have Mana Buds and Tankard and all that, so I should be good. Um, I mean, yeah, he's only got three Pokemon left, so... I'm just going to go for the crunch and hope it's enough. There's a good chance against frailer Pokemon like Zero Aura that you can actually one-shot. I could be wrong here. It's going to definitely at least bring it to red. But we're going to see if I was wrong or right. Because I don't want to have to switch out and, you know, deal with the sticky web again. I'm just trying to get this over with, to be honest. And it's just shy of the KO. That's so tragic. Yeah, we're not going to live. That's unfortunate, truly. Um, Garganico comes out here. That's that's so tough. I actually really wanted that KO right there, but we, we, we just just missed it. And he might actually have close combat. I'm just going to go into Tangrowth, to be honest, because um, if he attacks, then he's just going to take Rocky Helmet chip damage and die. So it should, it should be fine, actually. Yeah. Play Rough comes out. Yeah. There goes Zero Aura. I mean, Tangrowth's basically going to shut down Landorus because I do have the Hidden Power Ice. Although, to be honest, Landorus was like the only Pokemon I really paid attention to. So I don't know what, what kind of fire part this guy is packing. We will find out soon, though. Oh, shoot. He's got the Mewtwo. And now I regret. Now I regret doing what I just did with the Sharpedo. So that would have been so useful against this. But 
it's all right because I do have the mana buzz should hopefully suffice um, yeah I definitely want to keep this guy alive I don't think I need our crammy as much actually mana buzz should just come out here depends if he goes for like an ice beam then we are gonna be in a lot of trouble uh man this is tough all of a sudden it did not need to be tough but it just made it tough I don't know. If he has Ice Beam, he one-shots. Because I know Greninja basically one-shots too. And this has way more special attack. So, maybe Garganico comes out to test the waters. Or Mandibuzz. You know, I'm just going to go into Mandibuzz. If he has hit, if he has Ice Beam, then he has Ice Beam. And I'll just go into Garganico and try and figure something out from there. Oh yeah, he's got Psychic. So yeah, that, that's kind of what I was thinking. Because if he's going to go for his strongest attack, then Mandibuzz should be able to handle it nicely. Foul play is going to do a lot of damage no matter what he's into. So he does have Ice Beam. Okay, that's definitely interesting. I would have used it earlier personally, but... Foul play could one-shot here, and it does one-shot. Because it's a critical hit, but, you know, it's alright. So I think I think even with the crit or not, I mean, we're still winning this battle. We would still pick up Mewtwo since he was not doing enough to two-shot. Alright, so Landorus Tarion comes out. I'm just going to foul play him down. He might have Stone Edge, but... It shouldn't be too bad for Manda Buzz to take. Oh, Swords Dance. Yeah, this is gonna. This might actually one shot right here because you know it's gonna hit absolutely like a truck. And it does. It does pick up the one shot. So that right there is gonna be GG. Good game.